Hi Taurus, I have a full moon reading for you. The blue super moon that we're having. Yes, what are the messages for my Taurus babies? A little snake rattle up in here, clear some energy. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know why I picked the zombie filter for you guys, but I'm sure it'll be purposeful. I, I, I just like the look of it too. It's like pretty cool. I am wearing a lot of blue for you. You just can't see it. <laughs> Hi, Taurus. Anyways, angel messages for you guys tonight. Like, I've been doing these readings for each of the signs. I get to Taurus, and they're like, get out your angel decks. So, you may need to hear some messages, and I'm here for you, okay? You need your own personal private reading, please reach out to me. I am booking those, and I have a special price, $44 for your own blue moon messages, okay? I... I'm always guided by, I have a lot of decks, and my spirit guides will tell me which decks to use that will be most helpful for your highest vibrational good, okay? So, tonight, I'm, I drew some playing cards for you, okay? First things first, we're going to talk about numbers. You know I love to talk about numbers, Taurus. You, you showing up in your own reading right away with the King of Diamonds, okay? And, by the way... I started tuning into your reading at 5.55 today, okay? I started pulling in that energy, feeling Taurus energy. So fives are big changes. You have a five out here, too. This is a face card, so I count it as a ten. So we got two tens and a five in between. Okay, so when I'm talking King of Diamonds, I'm talking about um, an earth sign, first of all. But diamonds, this is about material gain, okay? This king of diamonds, masculine energy is usually older, uh, more mature, well-off, meaning has a good job or stable in their finances. This could be an investor. This is also somebody that's like the leader of the home energy, okay? This king knows that wealth is an inner job, okay? And there's maybe this king... Energy has been feeling a bit left out in the cold. That's the five, but this is a big change. You know why? Because you, this is ten of wands. This is a lot of fire energy coming in here. It's a big change coming <laughs> here, and it's it's you grounding this this passion right now. You could be feeling really overburdened with this energy, okay? But I'm sure there's messages that are going to come out tonight that will help you ground this wealth energy okay the pentacle the diamonds is a spiritual um job is what i want to say okay so numbers that could be talking to you are fives tens um sometimes i count that king as a 13 which is death card which is transformation okay i want to see what's at the bottom of the deck too here for you seven Seven says a spiritual number two. The seven of spades is like the seven of swords. So you've been lying to yourself about something. It's been hot. Says there have been somebody hiding something from you or some trickery there or some sneakiness, you know. But swords are all, spades are also about wisdom. You learn some sort of lessons. These are spiritual lessons. Yeah, yeah. It's two sevens. Fuck like, yeah. These are your cheerleaders here. It's about standing your ground in a situation too. Okay. Yeah. Seven of Wands, Seven of Clubs. All right, let's get into the messages here. I'm going to leave this till the end. This is um, postcards from Spirit, but I want to get out some uh, Archangel Tarot here. Let's see what the Archangels want to tell Taurus tonight. An investor, a benefactor perhaps, with that king as well. What is this? What is this? fall right here at my feet the four of four of swords so it's a t we're in a lot of retrogrades right now <laughs> a bunch of them that force us to to retreat that that ten of wands out there tells me that you're being overworked maybe too with the king of diamonds out here yeah you've been focused seriously about work and this this card look at how that flight's flickering on those chakra systems that really need to be tuned in here the root one, the the one that looks red and that looks like a guitar, maybe some sound healing music, maybe f connecting out in nature, all right? Like this woman here is asleep. She's sleeping next to a, some running water, like a river or a stream, right? Connect with large bodies of water at this time. Insights that come from quiet meditation, Taurus, the need for some sleep or some time off, seek relief from stress, okay? 
Beautiful music would help as well. Sometimes I like to listen to music that has no words. Sometimes I listen when I go to bed at night, the sounds of the forest, the nature sounds. You could just type that into YouTube and it, it'll bring you up some beautiful sounds to fall asleep to. But getting outside, taking some time off of work, asking for people to help you, saying no. These all might be big changes for you with this moon. Okay? Because four swords really is, um, it's a forced rest. It's a retreat from the world, from people in general, from work, a vacation. Okay, now I got this card clear out here over in the future that flew off to the right. And I gotta go grab it, so I'll be right back. <laughs> you know what it is? It's coming. Now don't lose hope because your ships are coming in. The Three of Cups. Three mermaids here. Three of Cups is too. It's like friends surrounding you like that you know cups is about love as well okay so reasons to celebrate here taurus a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children i love that so much okay and now i'm on, on the board here it's three four five Maybe it feels it feels like you're going backwards. You're taking steps backwards. Nope. The rest is necessary. Part of being a human being is actually learning how to just be and rest as well. We're programmed in the matrix to do, do, do all the time for us. Um, a spiritual person knows that they schedule in rest as well. It's necessary for the temple body, for the mind, for the emotional body. And for your spiritual body, okay? All your bodies need it. The rest. The four is the temple body, the home. Okay? Now, another one on the floor. I'm sorry I have to keep bending over here. But now we've got a brand new beginning coming in. After you take this rest, this three of cups, here it is. It's the ace of wands. Okay? Like, I felt investor over here or benefactor of some sort with this diamonds energy. Okay? And here, this is about what you're passionate about. Taurus, or it could be a you know a relationship coming into your life there where there's a lot of passion, romance, that sort of thing. Okay, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. This is also for my entrepreneurs out there. Okay, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So that's why I said, don't lose hope, don't lose faith. A sense of wonder. This is a very rural location being depicted here, too, with Gabriel. A brand new beginning. Ah, cycle of life is ending and a new one beginning. The ending is the beginning. Michael is here. What The world card. A very happy ending. Coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. And the Nine of Wands, my wounded warrior, out here tonight. Yeah, setting some firm boundaries. Yes, you are. So let's leave with the postcard tonight. What do your past over loved ones want to tell you about this moon? What do we need to tell Taurus Heart tonight? Those who are resonating with this story and who stayed. One more time through. If nothing pops out, I'll pick the top one off. I want to get the whole message. And there's a little... There it is. Like, just be patient. I heard just be patient. Dear you, what is true for you? Can you be impeccable with your word? Sure you can. As long as it's not used to manipulate others, the truth can set everyone free. Let go of the results, let go of your fears, and allow the truth to empower you and others. This will set into motion a kind of change that will be supportive of you and loving and all kinds of prosperous. This is not a time to compromise and hide your truth from others. Whatever it is you want, go for it and be clear in your motives, especially with yourself. You will be so happy you did. This is a time where you will tap into the power to co-create and manifest your best life. Doesn't that feel amazing? And the results? Miraculous. When you tell the truth and ask the same of others, you can learn a lot from life's bountiful lessons and achieve your dreams. Love you always. That is so awesome. You know, like the the there doesn't that feel amazing and then the same here the chance to do something amazing a sense of wonder coming into your life again oh my god i love it you are magical is what it says on the back of the card 944 was on the clock 711 944 on the timer 711 on the clock fuck yeah this is a great reading taurus woo 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 i'm going to shake my little rattle for you yeah yeah baby get it get it get it i love you guys